All right, I wanted to get into the Hogan action today again, guys. So um, this is awesome because I'm going to show you a little bit about what Ben was doing there in the middle of that shell match with Sneed. Uh, Sarah's and had them both kind of give their their ideas on what's important. And Ben said, well, what he, he had a driver in his hand and he was back there. And he said, well, what I see is uh, the first move from, from the top. I get that question a lot. What is it? Well, it's the lower body. That's what he said. And he said, most amateurs start with the upper body and they start those shoulders and the club coming out and they come over the top and all kinds of bad things happen. What you want to do is get the lower body lead. And he started to move this hip up into extension keeping the elbow right to the side of the hip. But the side of the hip was moving basically up to where the ball is. Here's the ball in the middle. He was going like this. He didn't have a ball there, but if you take a look, I'll put that up on this video too. You can see that's the elbow and hip in concert with each other, right? It's like skipping a rock. And once it connects in here, you just move the connection forward and up, okay? So that's uh, uh, something that we're going to work on today. How to get that arm package, arm assembly, beautiful uh, swing plane, arm action, down to the bottom. The lower body is going to start transferring over to this front foot. That allows the arms to drop down. If you do this, which I see it all the time, I'll see a slight bump over this way in the backswing. Now this hip's jutted out of my ankle, okay, player's up here, and he doesn't shift this way, player doesn't go that way, the player just starts down. Now I can't skip a rock because this hip's in the way, so it's called roundhousing. I start to see my guys start to throw this club around this way, coming over the top, pulling balls left, not making good contact, okay? So what we're looking to do here from the top is that lower body, like Hogan was saying, he was saying start the lower body. That takes the arms here, then drops them down to where, where they started and to the side of the hip. While the hip is moving to the left, it's also starting to rotate, right? So it's kind of a, we tag it as a slurn, a slide turn, okay? And you want to start out, anytime you're doing things, guys, um, you want to do low uh, speed reps because you can't time it going full blast. And, you know, doing it at home, off the carpet in the living room, with maybe a, like I have a, a little portable mirror that I put around and I just train all day. And always, you know, the more you can do away from the golf course, the better you'll be when you get to the course. So, it'd be like, here I go back, I've got it going up the plane in my mind here, boom, and now I start to transfer. You can see my left knee swiveled out, that lowered the hands to the side of my body with the right elbow reconnecting and then from there I keep my head on the ball while my hips go up and turn and forward. It's like three moves they got to make and a lot of people try to keep their butt on the wall here and that again moves the club out over the top. There has to be some sort of lateral action, right? You see the lateral towards the shifting. I call these the knees are the ones that operate the hips. So that's something uh, we should cover uh, pretty hard here uh, as we go through the details. So I think I'll do that in a separate video and show you how to get that done. Those, those of you that are skiers, I, I like to refer to anything uh, to do with other sports such as um, tennis, uh, skiing, you know, skiers uh, are in those moguls all day long, right? Boom, boom, boom. So the knees are always flexing, absorbing into the moguls, making turns and carving, those type of things. So you can refer to other sports maybe that you like to do. East Coast guys, I talk about skiing for sure. You guys on the West Coast, we talk about surfing, baby. So the surfer feet, bang, like this, right? I was a skateboarder too, I didn't surf very well. But again, left foot flare, right foot flared a little, but when you get balance, center gravity low, knee flex coming down, right? We're just dropping a little bit down in here, and then we're going to start pushing away, extending the hips and coming through. So surfer knees, skiing knees, those are great things to kind of mimic or understand that uh, how the knees work. I talked about knee linkage and the backswing in a uh, stack and tilt video. 
you can refer to that, you guys, since you're on the Masters of the Game site, um, you know where to go. So these these uh, Morad, uh, Stack and Tilt, and Hogan Move, uh, you know, they're all intertwined with the golfing machine, moving the lower body to assist in delivery of the club with consistency and power. Okay, that's it. Let's get it going. How about the knees right now? I want to come in. I'm going to come in and feel this. So those are my skiing knees, right? Soft knees over here, very saggy looking, but I am promoting something. I'm, I'm trying to get my brain to do something different, right? Which is those knees and it moves my center of gravity, my lower center of gravity forward. So you've really got three center of gravities. You've got your head, sternum, and the middle of the pelvis, just say belt buckle, belly button, something like that. A nap of the neck, you know, somewhere here. And, of course, logo on a hat if you had it right there. So um, when you can control what those centers are doing, if they're all moving a little, little bit forward of the golf ball, you are going to hit down on the ball and take a divot forward. So there's another caveat to knowing how to move correctly with the lower body to assist you in good contact, right? Ball turf, you know. If I'm hitting on this stick here, I, I want to make a divot on the forward side of that stick, right? So if I had a, a ball on the stick, I'd smash the ball, which I just hit the top of the stick, which would have took a divot right there, right? So a lot of guys are hitting behind the stick and then are behind the ball. And that's typically from a centered pivot that's actually the tailbone going backwards, right? So that would be the knees looking pretty good here, starting down, and then you see a pre-straightening of this leg, tailbone spins back, no bueno. Your center of gravity is going backwards. You cannot hit the divot in front of the golf ball that way. So this tailbone, this guy needs to be working forward here, see? And always stay forward. So we gotta do some of that when we're, when we're really trying to figure out how to get the components right to deliver that club with consistency, like I was saying, all right? So we'll just go with a little miniature swing to to maybe P two and a half, okay? So not gonna go big, but I'm gonna show you great uh, uh, movement of the knees as the shins are looking like they're forward of the ankle. So as you look down, another way to think of it too is that your, your knees are flexed to the target. The left foot flared out helps that, right? As you're coming down, that Hogan action is this beautiful lower body move, okay? And you'll notice the shins are angled this way. So the shins are actually leaning left of the ankles, halfway down for sure, okay? And uh, the knees are help driving that there. And then of course the hips are now gonna start to just push up as you keep turning, make that beautiful little Hogan action, exit. Should be able to see me okay from here. Here I go. P2 to P2 and a half, something in there. Probably two and a half to three. People over there, I don't think I can hit them. There you go. Right. So I'm going to have my knees going forward, my head still on the ball, feeling like my my handle's forward because my lower body is assisting me with that action and just start to hit little little shots out there for you guys just to take a look. Here we go. Slow speed so I can kind of coordinate things. If I start to rip at it, I don't know that I can time my lower center of gravity over as well as I can when I go slow. The brain can handle a little slower movement. 
okay? So what happens with most people that I see is that the stall of the lower body happens. So it gets out here, and once the club comes out here, the, body, the body's just clinging on for stability to hopefully work this club down somehow, right? So I see like that kind of action. When you have this connection here, you can keep the pivot of the body in sequence uh, with the shaft in front of you, right? So if I come through and I hit one kind of next to you here, I'm trying to kind of just have my, my pivot and my knees going forward <laughs> like that. Obviously pretty straight shot. All right, here we go. Felt pretty smooth there. Okay guys, take some of those with you onto the range, start working on the lower body, hitting chip shots, get the uh, belly button going forward, let those knees go left to the ankles, let the shins bend left to the ankles. Keep working on this stuff guys. Put a stick down, put a club down in the, in the living room. Okay, I got my zipper over the stick there, I want my zipper over my left ankle, right, and just get the arms to go. Alright guys, enjoy it. <laughs>